welcome back to Lucky Paradox. Okay, it is the morning of Sunday, June 14th, and we're here in the Common Rainer store, and there's our lovely friend, Maxie, so we're going to talk to her. Hey, lucky boy. Will you come with me to see clothes? Well, I'm already here, so of course I'll accept. It's okay, I have nothing better to do. Yes! There's a lot of great stuff. You keep company to Maxie while she tries on some outfits. Okay, so that's cute. Uh, my creativity increased by two. Well, that's great. And that's it? <laughs> that's it? Well, let's see what other outfits we've got here. I'm Kendra. Nice to meet you. News has arrived. Maybe you can find something of interest to you. Uh, so let's take a look at the costumes. Wow, okay, they're all very expensive. This 500 bucks, that's half the money we've spent all this time trying to get. And man, as, lo as much as I would love to buy Prim a warrior outfit, which looks pretty sexy, again, that's just crazy expensive. And the kitty outfit, that's very sexy too. Look at this succubus thing for Charlotte. Wow, that's... There's a lot of... Oh, man. The sniper outfit. The slave outfit. Good grief. Okay, now we've got some Christmas clothes. These are only $250. I could get something for some of the girls. But, you know, <laughs> again, I'm not going to spend that much money right now out of the little bit that we have until we go and do some gambling. So it's nice to see what selections we've got, but there is no way. I'm not going to spend that at this moment. Uh, hopefully we'll make a bunch of money gambling and I don't know when I can do that maybe tonight maybe I have to wait till next weekend but whatever it's it's noontime now we spent all morning looking at clothes so I don't know who we can talk to let's see what Prim's up to uh, after her shift we can talk to her but that's not today Charlotte uh, we can talk to her in the evening Yui I just have to wait Maxi, well, we can go chat with her at noon or Layla in the evening and Sasha. Ah, library at noon. Right. Okay. Oh, I'm glad I spent all the time looking at all the girls just to determine that we need to go to the library. You still looking for that? I'm not giving up. This is my only hope. As long as the mayor doesn't move his chips, of course. Here are the old books you asked for. Wish me luck. Do you know that woman? Uh, she's a friend. She doesn't seem to be from around here. She's from another country. Why would someone come from abroad to spend so much time in this library? It's pretty old. I don't think she'll find what she's looking for here. How many times has she come here? I've already lost count. What is she looking for? Uh, she's got a hunch. She asked me for information about the mayor, but we don't have any of that here. The only thing are those old books my family kept. I hope she finds what she's looking for there. Although, I doubt it. My family has taken care of this library for generations. Those books could be over 80 years old. You've never read them? I'm not really interested. Yes! There you are. I found it at last. I can't believe it was here all this time. How much are you asking for these books? What? Please, don't say you don't have them for sale. I didn't think they had any value. One man's trash is another man's treasure. You can take them if you want. I wouldn't feel right charging for antiques. But, but, Helena... That's antiques. Oh, okay, I don't think she understands that antiques are intrinsically valuable. Um, whatever. 
I'll leave you some money for your trouble. Come here, Rook. There's a lot of information. It's much better than I was expecting. The only bad thing is that by now the mayor must be aware of what I've found. But it doesn't matter. This will level the playing field. I'm decades late. But I thank you, Melanie. Is that the treasure you were looking for? It's something much better. It's the dark logbook. The forbidden pages. Her notebook. The logbook that Johan and Hannah tried to destroy at all costs. What's written in it? The theory that Melanie Maud developed with all the details. The one in a million shot I was telling you about. If Anton's found a way to give up the election, that information should be here. She even wrote a dedication. For Sasha Sanderson from your friend in the past. Written in perfect slant. Titty. What? With, and without error. Sella what? It's a secret language that the butterflies use to write encrypted messages. Was Melanie a butterfly? It's impossible. She was from this universe. Butterflies have never existed here. She probably wrote it because of what she learned from the glow. Can you learn anything from the glow? Even if it's stuff that doesn't exist yet? Whatever. Although, if you're not careful, you can go crazy. That's what ended up destroying Windsor Gale's mind. Why are you frowning? You should be happy about this. I don't think it's a big deal. If I can figure all this out, finding your friend is going to be a piece of cake. I just need time to read and analyze all this. For now, I'll continue to visit you at noon as usual. And in the evening, with a good cup of coffee, I will read calmly before going to sleep. Is there anything I can do to help? Go have fun. Spending time with your friends and sister will be good for you. See you, Rook. Ciao. And she's gone again. And somehow, she <laughs> magically teleported us from the library back home. Well, that's just fine, because it's evening time, and we wanted to talk to somebody else. I don't know who, but we'll figure that out next time. For now, thank you so much, everyone, for joining. I hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll talk with all of you again very, very soon.